Hey guys, I am super excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you my upgraded julep box. Normally with julep you get like two nail polishes in the bath and body product or three nail polishes, whatever you choose for your style for that month. But this month I had some referral credit from those of you who used my link and got your own free box. So I had some referral credit and I decided to upgrade my box. Basically what that means is instead of getting like three polishes, I got nine polishes and two um, like bath body type products. So I'm gonna open it and show you with you guys what I got. I did take a peek inside because my grandma and my mom were visiting and I was so excited that I had to show them what was in my box. I didn't look super closely at the nail polishes though, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a peek inside. And like I said, I did show them what was in here briefly. So um, basically you've got your tissue paper, you have got the, um, the crinkle paper here, which is actually really cute. Um, they put some candy corns in here, it's October. Uh, there's a little card here that talks about you can get rewarded by referring your friends. I'll leave my link down below and I'll leave a coupon code. If the free box deal is still going right now, check it out. My grandma said she got a free box and she didn't even have to pay shipping. So that's really awesome. I would, I would love for every single one of you who's watching to get like your own box for free, try it out. And if you don't want anything more than that, then just get your free box. <laughs> so anyways, got that candy corn ingredients. Um, the first thing on the top here, this is the Kajal eyeliner or eye glider, it's basically an eyeliner, and on one side it's supposed to be brown, and then the other side it's actually a black pencil, so it's kind of neat because you've got both in one, especially for like travel or something, this would be really cool because you only have to bring one pencil, you can kind of decide what you want to do with it. And then on the other side, there's supposed to be a, yeah, there's a sharpener in here. So, a nice little contained sharpener, everything just falls into here. Then I'll go ahead and swatch this for you guys real quick. It's brown shimmer on one side and then carbon black on the other side. Here's a close-up of the packaging. There's our black side and there is our brown shimmer. All right, now here's my swatch. The top is the brown shimmer, which actually looks a lot nicer in person. There's little like um, very, very discreet, I would say, like shimmer in that. Um, it would be a great like natural brown, but it's also got a little bit of like a gold fleck. Um, very, very... Um, you know, it's not stark there. It looks basically like a really pretty brown and then the carbon black below. So I think it's pretty neat that I'm going to be able to try out my makeup product because you guys know I love my polishes so much. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'll take these out of boxes here. I'm going to show you all of these together. I don't even know if I can hold these all up. Um, this is what all of the polishes look like together and then I'm going to go ahead and read them off individually, the name, show you the color, and tell you a little bit of the description. So the first one I have here is called Dahlia. By the way, these are each woman's names. Um, they name them off of, I don't know, just names that they think go with them. People suggest them. I don't know. Um, it's Goldenrod Micro Glitter. I think this looks absolutely beautiful. I was a little bit intimidated to wear my... Um, Another one I have, I forget the name now, Josephine maybe? It's a bright yellow. I was a little intimidated, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a, looks like a marigold, I would say. But this one, same kind of thing. I think it's gonna be cute. I have confidence. Next is Stevie, and this is um, Concrete Gray Frost. Um, it almost has a little bit of a purple cast to it when I'm looking at it here, sort of in the dimmer light. Really pretty. I like this kind of, um, this whole color line I think is gonna be great for fall. So that was Stevie. The next one is called Valerie, and this is a teal polish with a little bit of iridescent micro glitter in it. Really pretty. Doesn't do it justice here. Wish I had some better lighting I could show you guys, but yeah, you can, you can pick up the teal on that for sure. Next, I've got Cleopatra. This is probably the most interesting one that I have in the whole bunch. Um, because this is like a flat type of paint, at least that's what I've um, read about it. It's supposed to be a black latex cream finish. It's no, there's no actual latex in the formula, but it's supposed to dry sort of like latex paint. And it's totally black, so this is going to be definitely the most interesting nail polish of the bunch, and the most interesting nail polish I've ever tried out. Never used anything like that. Um, it'd kind of be interesting to do the black with this bright, um, the Dahlia, the one that I mentioned at first. That would be kind of neat, like an accent nail with the bright. The next one is called Winona, and this is a really neat, um, kind of like, it says it's a buff gray cream, grayish, beige, slash gray, I don't know. I think this is going to be a nice staple for fall, and this could actually carry over into, um, you could use this for spring because it's just really nice, and it would go really well with a lot of different things. And also, my Just Fab necklace, I'm just noticing, I think it's about the same color. Next one that I have is a red, it's Anissa is the name, and this is a deep burgundy cream finish. I'm a big fan of cream finish nail polishes. 
really pretty also great for fall I just gotta stop saying this because you guys know all of these will be <laughs> they'll be all good for fall this is Kendra is the next one I, I'm seriously I'm so spoiled with this okay this is army frost green I gave you the far away I think the green's harder to pick up with my lighting but it's more of like an army green with a little bit of frost that one's definitely pretty dark I'm interested to see how it's gonna go on the nails this one is beautiful. This is called Missy. This is a titanium metallic. It's very, very um, bright. And look at that. Look at the sheen on that one. Super, super pretty. Definitely a good metallic. And then the last one, this is a very interesting polish. I don't know if you can pick up on the sheen of it already, but this is called um, Sierra. It's a vampy magenta with teal micro glitter. It's very, very interesting. And I think this will kind of pick up on um, what you're wearing too. Like if you wore teal, it might bring out the teal more on it. And then if you wore something um, like purple, it might bring out more of the magenta, but very, very interesting color. When I look at it just um, like in the light here, it almost looks more teal, but then in the lighting where you can kind of pick up a little bit of my shirt, I do think it looks more of that sort of color. It's kind of a neat view of it too. Anyways guys, that is my amazing, updated, upgraded, whatever they call it, uh, upgraded box. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. If you want to see like any specific Julep nail polish videos, I can for sure do it. I've got a bunch of Julep nail polishes now. If that free code is still good, I will link it down below or whatever coupon code I can find for you guys. Um, I really appreciate those of you who've wanted to try out their free box. I really appreciate you using my link because it means I can get more polishes to show you guys. and. It's really cool. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on Julep Polish down below, and I will see you for another video. Bye, guys.